Sergio Mora, how you feeling today, man? Hey, man, listen, I, I'm great. <laughs> Let's ask Ryan Garcia that question. <laughs> Gotta ask you, man, were you surprised that he was three points No, 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 man. Uh, all the signs are there, man. I mean, you don't need to read the tea leaves to understand that Ryan Garcia is going through more than just what a boxer goes through. Uh, now it's physical. You know, before it was like, you know, uh, men mental uh, concerns. Now it's physical. He didn't make weight by that much. I mean, I can understand one pound, maybe two pounds, but three and a half pounds, and especially when you're moving up in weight, this is what, your, your second or third fight at 140? How are you missing weight by that much? It's a huge event, it's a huge fight. Totally unprofessional, lack of discipline. All the warning signs that we've been seeing leading up to this fight, it just validates every single one of them. When Ryan, Ryan just went on Twitter just a few seconds ago, actually, and he was just like, hey, fight's still on. I have a three pound weight advantage now. Let's go. Do, do you well, that's something to be proud of? I mean, that's what he said. That's nothing to be proud of. Having a three pound advantage uh, of, uh, of trying to rationalize to the public. You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anybody. I mean, stop lying to yourself. And I hate, I, I hate to be the the asshole in all this, but someone needs to tell him because nobody's in his ear telling him the truth. It's unprofessional, lack of discipline. And even if he does win, say he, he pulls a rabbit out of his hat and beats Devin Haney, it's gonna be an asterisk behind it. It's gonna be like when Corrales knocked out Castillo for the second time around. It's because Corrales, had, I'm sorry, Castillo had that advantage the second time around when he knocked out Corrales. And it wasn't fair. It was not fair. The first fight was a classic. They were both on weight. The second one, unfair size advantage. It also happened with uh, Floyd Mayweather and Juan Manuel Marquez. When Marquez came in, what, three pounds overweight? Luckily, we're talking about one of the greatest boxers of all time. He let it go, but unprofessional as well. When you look at, when you look at and it's, sometimes it's a little bit hard to say, but when you look at the people around Devin, um, around Ryan Garcia, like his mother, father, um, trainer, um, everybody at Golden Boy, do you to put kind of some of the blame on them as well for maybe not pulling Ryan out the fight? Or is it tough to do that because he's making maybe 20, 30 million, something like that? Is it tough? Do you blame them? How stupid do you think I am if I'm em I'm employed by them? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> not in my position to say that. I can stick to the fighter. As far as the business behind the fighter, that's for everyone else to speak of. That's beyond my pay grade. But I can speak for Ryan Garcia. I can be as critical as I want with him, his decision. I was looking to the public, missing weight that much, and how much of a travesty he's making this big event. Last question for you, man. How can Ryan Garcia get back on track after this fight, after this event? How can he go back to his old self, the disciplined self, man? How do you By swallowing his pride, swallowing his ego, using that massive platform that he has to apologize to his fans, everyone that believes in him, the sport, and to, to understand that this is beyond your popularity, beyond your marketability. This is the honor of two warriors, two, two, two fighters at the ultimate stage. You gotta bring, you gotta hold your own, man. You gotta bring, you gotta hold your own weight. You gotta be responsible, be disciplined. You signed your name on a dotted line, you gotta honor that, man. And I think somebody needs to tell them that, someone in his team. Stop the enabling. You gotta tell them like it is. Gotcha. Thank you, man. Appreciate you.